Oh, oh, that did not go as planned. We've got our dessert cakes here. Now, I like to make mine as a little, at a little angle, kind of cat a corner them here um, and make it nice and pretty for a decoration kind of. So we're gonna move these up, make some room, make some room for our friends. Yes, we have to make room for our friends and, and family. Okay, I'm going to put the rest of these. I did separate them onto two different plates. This is going to be so fun and so delicious, guys. It's a very easy dessert. It's easy and pretty to, uh, uh, easy and pretty to present as well for like baby showers, um, kids birthday parties. My sons absolutely love like strawberry shortcake type desserts. And this has a little banana flavor to it as well. It's just a delightful dessert. So I'm super excited to share this one with you guys. Let me make sure my trash can is up and working. There we go. And then I'm gonna clean off my fingers a little bit here. Now going in dun -dun 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 -dun, with my strawberry pie filling. Again, this is a super quick, super easy dessert and your friends and family will thank you for it. And you wouldn't have even needed that much labor. Now you don't wanna feel the scooper you don't you just need about that much because you don't want it overfilled. There you go. But you want to make sure you get just enough fruit in there to give it some bite. So as you can see, I'm trying to make sure I'm scooping in some strawberries in there. There we go. And we're going to fill up each and every one of these. Just enough to make sure we've got a good bite full of our filling on here. These are gonna be so delicious. They're very sweet though. So if you have are like me and you have a major sweet tooth, then you're gonna absolutely love these. Kids absolutely love these. And they're so pretty to present. So, so pretty to present and super easy. It takes just a few moments to get it done. Strawberry glaze, I'm gonna, uh -oh. Another strawberry on there. I don't want to jip anybody. I don't want to jip anybody. And then I'm putting these over here. There you go. So everybody's getting some filling here. And I'm almost done with my first thing of filling. I've got a little bit more of the strawberry glaze. So you may need two if you're going to do as many as I'm doing. See how that one doesn't have any strawberry? I'm going to go in over here and grab my backup strawberry glaze <laughs> for just in case I ran out. And you wanna make sure you've got just enough in there so that everybody gets a nice good bite of strawberry glaze here. I love the way these taste, I love the way they look. Mm, they already smell so delicious already. So these that are kind of missing those strawberries, you can add fruit at the end, you can add raspberries, cut up some strawberries, put some bananas on there. We're gonna use some bananas today, and I'm super excited about that. And now, doesn't that look so pretty, guys? I'm gonna move these out of the way so that we can start our next step here. <clears throat> super fun. In a large bowl, I am going to put banana cream jello pudding. Yummy, yummy. Fun fact, I also use this when I make fruit salads to coat my fruit in, and uh, my mom taught me that trick of putting a little thing of, the, I don't use the banana cream one, but we use like a strawberry one or a vanilla one in our fruit salad, and everybody's always asking what our secret ingredient was. It was a secret until now, now I've told all of you. <laughs> and then I'm going in with my Cool Whip right on top of that, and I'm gonna fold it in there. So you wanna make sure when mixing wet and dry ingredients, guys, that you're given your, that you're uh, getting all of your dry ingredients mixed in there. They have a tendency of getting stuck to your spoon, stuck to the side of the bowl. You wanna make sure that you're folding that right on in to your wet ingredients. I have another thing of a Cool Whip I'm getting ready to put, but I wanted to make sure my red ingredients are mixing into this one. Well, first, because it can also get chunky. If it starts getting a little chunky on you guys, you can go in with some, um, some whole milk or some heavy whipping cream. 
to kind of get it to not be chalky, but also to not get chunky like dough, right? So you guys see how that's starting to look like I'm getting ready to make a pancake. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with my heavy whipping cream here. It's a fresh bottle. I did not realize it was a fresh bottle. We must have just gotten this one. I'm gonna go in with about, mm, I'll say maybe half a cup, perhaps. A little bit more than that. About half a cup of heavy whipping cream here. To get that nice and mixed, our wet and dry ingredients, nice and fluffy. And then I'm going to add in our other Cool Whip here to make it nice and airy for us. And this is going to be our topping. We're going to top our dessert with this deliciousness. I think I want a little bit more Cool Whip, yep. Going in, wanted to make sure I wasn't overdoing it. Wanted to make sure I wasn't overdoing it. Come on, Cool Whip. There we go. There we go, because I like mine really light and airy. And again, this is a high sugar dessert, guys. So if you do put this <clears throat> on the table for the children, I don't recommend making it an all you can eat. Let them just grab it for themselves type situation. Definitely hands it out. Mmm, look at that, guys. Look how creamy and delicious it's looking already. Mm-hmm. Now, I prepped a piping bag for this before on camera. Let me show you how I prepped it because, you know, I'm... I'm a senior chef now in these streets. I've been watching Food Network for like three weeks. I'm a pro. So <laughs> I put my pipe in a cup, piping bag in a cup, so that it's easy for me to fill. Just spread it out here, made a little hole in the center so that I can just easily take my filling and load it right on in there. Let it get right on in there. It's a little airy fluffy oh i'm so excited so excited gonna load that in there just like that i want to push it in just a little bit more just because i know we've got so many to pipe and scoop and then all i've got to do is pull this up like this here mm -hmm. i'm gonna hold it at the top to squeeze this part down here and then you cut your tip, boop, that easy. <clears throat> so here I come to pipe on my deliciousness, just a little bit on each dessert right there. If you have a piping tool to make it come out um, in a certain design that you would like, you can definitely do it that way. These aren't for an actual event this time, it's just for home. So I'm just doing it my way because I know my children, they don't care for my artistics. <laughs> On the dessert, they just care that it tastes good, right? So I am doing a dollop, do, doing a dollop on here with the piping bag, making sure that there's enough. Mm -hmm. And it's just gonna be a big creamy bite of deliciousness, guys. I'm so excited to try these with you. There we go, and see, I prepped my pipe bag, and now, since I've done so many, I've done uh, three packs of the snack cakes, I now need to prep another pipe bag. So let me do that, and I will be right back. All right, refilled my piping bag, guys, and I changed my mind. I decided to show you guys what it could look like with a piping bag. So filling these last few with a piping bag so that you guys can see it. And remember, we've got our banana pudding in this icing, so it's going to give us an array of flavors of that fruitiness. I live, I love, I'm super excited. <clears throat> And now my favorite part. I've been eyeing this baby for a minute. Mm -mm -mm. She's got a nice little ooze to her and just enough fruit. Get on in there. Mmm. Mmm. Still one of my favorite desserts. Banana pudding is one of my favorite desserts, but this sets it off because it gives me my banana pudding taste with that nice bite of strawberry and vanilla in here. Guys, you try it and tell me what you think. <laughs> 